Hey, this is Christian Hasoy here at Venice Originals uh, Skateboard Shop in Venice with Block uh, Cesario Montano. Uh, we're going to be talking about Block's photo that he took of me back in early 90s. And basically how our relationship started together through photography and skateboarding. Starting, you know, hanging out when we were probably 14, 15 years old. I went to school right down the street over at the Venice Pier. I was hanging out with Jay Adams and he kind of introduced me to the neighborhood. We, our friendship really clicked really quickly and I think we had a party at his house. It was like low rider music, everybody was chilling and we were like all hanging out but then it was like, hey, we're going surfing, we're going to be going skateboarding and uh, that's when it was like our, our kind of like relationship started right then. And then actually I started shooting more skateboarding stuff with you after college. I went to Cal Arts. Christian at the time was already a rising skateboarding star. He was already pretty popular in skateboarding and everybody kind of knew he was the, the guy to look at and to, to look forward to watching him. He was going to do something with his skateboarding. I, I remember Christian going, let's go to Japan. I remember you telling me, you're the first, uh, you're the first one in your family who's going to get on a plane and fly, get a passport. It led up to us going to Brazil where it was just kind of like, Brazil has just got this rugged underground, it's like, it's like your third world kind of country. And Brazil's at the time, third world at the time. Early 90s. It reminds me of Venice. But it was rad to see how, you know, a guy from the hood here in Venice, you know, goes out there and we just, it, it, it made complete sense. We came up to the Cristo and I just asked him to jump up. I said, do Christ there in front of the Cristo. And then we did a little fill in light because I'm shooting into the sun, which is into the light, which is not what you're supposed to be doing but I wanted to get the shadow of the Christ there. So I did a little fill-in light to, to, to balance the light in the forward and the background. And that, that whole image just came together. And I knew, I knew what, you know, what, what it had meant to me. I was like, I come from conceptual fine art photography. Everything, every element in your image is, is, is important. So that, this was the beginning of something that we never knew the outcome of it. I didn't know all the things that he was going to accomplish later on in his life, but at, at the time, Christian wasn't in, into the religion. And just like I said, it became full circle with Christian now becoming a pastor and becoming... Yeah, this is kind of a prophetic photo. This isn't something that, you know, oh, it's beautiful lighting and it's an amazing place. It means so much more than that because, like he said, I think, you know, coming full circle, we didn't know I was going to be a Christian one day through my short comings of going from drug addiction to prison and then we ended up making a documentary him being the director of the rising sun i think that that's where it, it, it even makes this much more uh, profound and there was a man's story about a man and going through his trials and tribulation but the big question was christians in jail how are you going to end the story and then at the end of the day he got let out of jail and it, and it it was like the cherry on the top of the film that him getting out and now now he's gonna reach the mountaintop and he's coming out and he's he's actually it's gonna be an inspiring story and is he gonna keep it together after and all that stuff came out and it all like it, it's like this photograph the photograph speaks for itself it's a powerful image because of his accomplishments because of the things and the goals he set after all those other things that were said and that's, that's an inspiring story in itself. People that come up to me still today and say how this story has touched their lives. What's great about this is that this was a documented story from start to even this moment. I think we're still documenting because you're still an artist, you're still being creative. I'm still, you know, doing what I love and, you know, doing what we have been doing our whole lives. But, yeah. And it encapsulates, you know, who I am today, you know, me being, you know, a man of faith, loving, you know, the, the fact that now I'm a pastor at the Sanctuary Church here in like Costa Mesa, and it's been 15 years, you know, that I've been clean and sober from drugs, which drugs almost killed me, took me out, sent me to prison. So there's, there's a lot of hidden meaning behind the picture as well that I think the story you know, being shared like right now is, is awesome when people have seen the photo but they really don't know the story behind it. And, so. and I remember that time. <laughs> All right. And now you're going to remember the time. <laughs> it was a good time.
Thanks to Theo, man. Thank you a lot. Yeah. Thanks for listening.